the heck am I doing here? Why do I have a ball peen hammer and a ratchet without a socket? Legitimate question. So this is where my socket and my extension were. I had let those rusted exhaust nuts sit in PB Blaster overnight, and then I just wanted to see if I was gonna get lucky, and I tried turning them, and alas, not at all. Because those nuts were a little bit rusty, actually my socket just stayed on there. And what I went to do, which when I filmed the video, was grab my ball peen hammer so I could apply a little resonant frequency to the situation. This is a trick that I learned from my mentor, Danny. It has never failed me. So what I do is I smack with a hammer uh, around the nut, and I'll actually hit the end of the extension, and I'll hit the socket, but I won't hit the nut itself because I obviously don't want to damage the nut. I don't want to deform it or hit the studs, right? And then damage the threads. So I tap the side of the exhaust manifold here or the pipe for the secondary air injection. And then I hit all around the socket. And how this works is when you hit these pieces with a hammer, they vibrate at different frequencies, which sort of allows them to break apart from one another and then will allow me to get the nut loose. And just for the record, I chose not to exactly advertise what I was doing here because this is not something that I commonly offer. This is a secondary air injection delete kit and I'm installing the block off plates here. Now, this is for off-road use only. So while this is fine for like your farm truck or your hunting rig that always stays off-road, this is not something that you can do for your normal passenger vehicles. So 99% of the time, I will repair a secondary air injection problem the OEM way and just replace the bad components. So that's why I didn't specifically state what I was doing. Now, that's a legitimate question. But now my question is, why do you want so badly for me to not actually be working? What is wrong with you?